Jason has vowed he'll have a big one tonight. Arthur Summons, your impressions? Well, Darrell, I'm like you. I think it'll be a very good test match. I think New Zealand are really primed for this one. There was not much in it in New Zealand, as you said. But I can't believe that Australia can get beat in this particular game. The nine Queenslanders in this Australian side are playing before their home ground. Uh, are going to be very hard to beat. They're also playing with enormous confidence and I think that's going to be the difference. This New Zealand side is full of potential. Gary Kimball, young Smithy at 5'8", a good organiser, but I can't just see Australia getting beat under these conditions. I think they're, going, they're playing with confidence and they'll go on with, for a big win tonight. Let's have a look at the Australian side now. Arthur at fullback, Colin Scott. The wingers are Kerry Boasted and Eric Groth. The centre three quarter, the Queensland combination of Mal Meninga and Gene Miles. 5 8 mid to Queensland. That's Wally Lewis. The halfback is Steve Mortimer. The lock forward is Ray Price. In number nine is Wally Fullerton Smith. The other second row is Paul Borton. The front row, Dave Brown. Max Krillich, the captain of the side, and Brad Tesman. The New Zealanders out on the field also now at fullback is Nick Wright. The wingers are Joe Rapati and Dean Bell. The centre three quarters are James Luolai and Fred Akoi. The 5'8 is Gordon Smith. The halfback is Shane Varley. The lock forward is Gary Prome. The, centre, the second rowers are Graham West and Kurt Sorensen. The front rowers Mark Broadhurst, Howie Tatamy and Dane Sorensen. One of the big clashes of tonight's game will be number two for New Zealand, Joe Rapati. He is a giant, let me tell you. 20 years of age, he's only one of six in the family, and he is the smallest. Eric Groth is the opposing winger, and they are two of the biggest wingers in the game. Joe Rapati and Eric Groth. There's Ray Price. Look at him geeing up the Australian side. He just uh, hates opposition when it comes to test football. Mal Meninga, the big Brisbane policeman. There's Kurt Sorensen, and a lot of people expect him to have the biggest game he's ever played in Australia tonight. The Australian side now standing as the national anthem is played. side out this side of course lost the first test in Auckland Australia winning 16 points to four but they are vowed they're going to take revenge tonight Shane Varley the halfback a pretty spirited little player too Gary Prome a good style of a uh, lock forward this fellow and that's the New Zealand anthem being played now Varley still having a bit to say for tonight's fixture, Robin Whitfield. The Englishman had the first test at Carlaw Park. That's had a fairly successful stint here in Australia, though a lot of people criticised his handling of the first test for the amount of penalties that were handed out. Both captains now, Graham West, the giant second row for the Kiwis, and Max Krilich playing in his last test for Australia. An emotional night for Max Krilich. Obviously, we'd like to go out on a winning note. The amount of Vaseline on the face. Brilliant footballer. has been a great player for Australia and playing his final test for his country tonight.
New Zealand will be kicking off. Nick Wright, they call him Nick the Greek for obvious reasons. And they tell me he's a goer. kickoff for the Winfield Test Series round two oh and mishandled quickly by Australia Colin Scott obviously a case of the nerves but it went behind him but New Zealand now the pressure on Australia Mark Broadhurst in with a big swinging arm no worry Krillich as Australia start to bust it out there's a good break from Fullerton Smith and the Queensland crowd giving a big welcome Tackler Kurt Sorensen, penalty Australia. This referee is very quick on those decisions, and I think they're good ones. Kurt did lay on the uh, player and, of course, uh, incurred a penalty. It's silly football. There's another angle of it now as Fullerton Smith came in and Kurt Sorensen over the top, and as he said at the team meeting, he's in for a big one tonight. Brad Tessman, by the way, is playing in jumper number 17 for Australia. Number 17 is Brad Tessman. the penalty straight away New Zealand going in very vigorously in the tackle that time it was Howie Tamati Dane Sorensen uh, having a bit of a talk to the side now there's the skipper coming in Graham West well this is real test football it's the way they normally start Darrell and Graham Lowe certainly got them fired up but they don't want to do anything silly and get sent off because if that happens one short in a test is impossible against an Australian side as confident as this one well, Australia have taken the kick. They're 10 metres inside the New Zealand Territory. That's Dave Brown. Oh, and what about that for a tackle? Price. This is Fortin. He's tackled about two metres short of the 22. Krillich looking for runners. And on they come as Lewis has his first touch. Here's Price. Price inside. Price almost through. Cover comes over. Max Krillich standing a long time, then it's prone that hits him. Good player, that prone. That's the way they've got to make the tackles. Hit hard. The man with the ball is very important. Kick from Mortimer, charged down though by his opposite number, Shane Varley. New Zealand now, they're in possession. To Sorensen, hard and straight. Loses the ball. Straight in. Play on, says the referee as Price picks it up and back into the 22 and he's belted by the New Zealanders. Well, a real test football start here. Australia lined out, there's a big pass from Lewis. Mendinka takes the tackle. And Sorensen in everything at the moment. This is Vorton. There's the kick off the side of the boot from Mortimer. Up they go for it. Taken by Colin Scott and taken well too. Took it out of Sorensen's hand. Australia with a great chance. About six metres out. They go the blind side. Under Meninga. Meninga puts the power on. Flicks the ball out wide. And Australia's in. Oh, great try. Eric Ruth. The man we talked about at the start of this match. The power of the man. Bustle over in the corner. First bite to Australia. Say it again, there's the big Lewis pass on to Meninga. The understanding between these two fellas are unbelievable. The ball goes to Grove. And down he goes, four points Australia. Bit unlucky here, New Zealand. They got to the defence. The defence got to the attacking players. Good defence by Broadhurst here. Young Varley made the tackle on... Uh, Fullerton Smith, but uh, fortunately, of course, uh, Johnny on the spot, Eric Groth, just happened to snap the ball up and go over for a try. Eric Groth, the score now, Australia 4, New Zealand 0. We'll be back after the break. And Broadhurst and Tamity very quickly on him. And Australia running with a lot of confidence, and what a start, Arthur Summons. A great start, a little bit unfortunate, as I said, from the Kiwis, but nevertheless, they can get back into this game. Of course, it was Groth that scored the runaway try in New Zealand at Carlow Park that really...
cylinders backs. That's correct, of course, and that one out of the blue could be a little bit uh, awkward for them, but he's a very difficult man to contain anyway, Grace, and a great winger. Knock on by Paul Vaughton forces the scrum. First scrum of the match, and this is just inside the 22 Australia's into the ground. Big vocal crowd at Lang Park tonight. Robin Whitfield not happy with the feed. Stevie Mortimer, can he produce a big one tonight? They break quickly from the scrum, New Zealand. And they've got a good chance now. Tamati. It's it out to Gordon Smith, on to Kurt Sorensen. And in they come and hit Sorensen. Tamati. Back to Smith. Mark Broadhurst. Tackled by Tessman. Tamati wants to get on with it. On to Varley. This is Gordon Smith, head down. Varley is the fullback in Nick Wright, puts the bomb up. Well placed kick and taken by Meninga. But he's taken and he'll uh, go down in goal. So New Zealand with a chance for the ball now. Good tactics from New Zealand there. Confined them to the in goal area and of course it's a drop out from under the post. The good pressure tactics and they're well in this game. Freddie Arcoy, the North Sydney player wearing four for New Zealand tonight. Lewis takes a dropout. Joe Rapati. The big winger winds up for the first touch of the ball. Tamati, very keen to get on with it, a dummy half. This is Gordon Smith. That's West that's put it down, the captain. I've got to try and eliminate that sort of play, Darrell, because that'll bring them undone. It puts the tails down, and it's not good football. Dave Brown, you see how quickly he was under that ball. This is Scott. Nine Queenslanders on this side tonight, and the crowd right behind them. This is Lewis. New Zealand caught inside the five, though. Penalty Australia. A little bit over-anxious now, New Zealand. They're running onto the ball too flat there early. That's what caused them to put it down, and again, they've been caught offside. Silly little mistakes creeping into their play. They'll settle down in a few moments, put their game together, hopefully. Arthur, that's the third straight penalty to Australia, too. Yeah, a little bit of uh, anxiety in the New Zealand uh, side. Very keen to get on with the job, and this is probably not helping. On the day, Brown for Australia. Ten metres short of the 22, New Zealand's into the ground. Vaughton. Krillich looking for runners. Set move by Australia. This is Meninga. Loses the ball. Scott cleans it up. The referee said there was a knock on, so the scrum will be forced midway between the half and the quarter. That's a confident, well-drilled side that can be putting on moves that early in a test match. Big set of forwards for New Zealand, and they're expected to do pretty well. Price broke quickly. of both lines, Arthur, and they're pretty shallow, aren't they? They're very flat. Of course, Australia should be flat because they're not going to get this ball. It's a New Zealand put in. New Zealand should win it. But they're very flat, so they're obviously going to use a run around from the scrum base there, and Varley probably keep the ball. Crowd unhappy about the referee, Robin Whitfield, with his uh, long feed of that scrum. As Nick Wright plays it back. Now they're on the attack. This is West player that's just transferred to England for 13 and a half thousand pound a lot of money <laughs> referee caught Australia offside this time so penalty to New Zealand quite guards he's very strict on this early in the piece and he'll be uh, he'll penalize both sides because of the inside the five yards and it does open up the game early early in a test match good move from referee Whitfield Nick Wright the New Zealand fullback kicking for touch well, a great kick but he makes sure he finds it this Tamady on the Varley run around movements going everywhere here's Sorensen now Kurt it's tackled by Wally Lewis they look a bit sharper now this is Gary Prome good run from Prome Tamity. This is Dane Sorensen. 
going on Dane too. Tammany from dummy half. Now it uh, goes along the back line. They're nice and deep this time. New Zealand looking better. Unloading, but going nowhere. Wright's put it down. Referee sent a knock on. Mark Broadhurst, the man playing with the Illawarra Steelers, playing for New Zealand tonight. And keen to have a big game. Tough big front row. Australia ball, Mortimer. Quickly out to Collins, Scott up in the back line. He's taken by his opposite number. Meninga. Runs from dummy half. Broadhurst over the top and Tammany underneath. This is Brown. Who went plenty in with Weston Broadhurst. They wrestle the big fella down. That's what they've got to do, Darrell. They've got to put them on the ground. It's no good letting them stand and unload. Here's Mortimer. Shaping to kick Mortimer almost through the gap to Dane Sorensen, the tackler. Coach, Vaughton. Ball out for Meninga. It's slow motion stuff from Australia at the moment. It's typical of uh, confidence side. Slow the game down, speed it up, control all phases of play. Price with a little kick for the line and he'll find it too. Ray Price kicking for touch and finding it. What a great competitor he's been and uh, what an amazing man through injuries, Arthur Summons. He can be out one week, but he'll certainly give everything for his country. Must have a high tolerance of pain because he comes back and plays, actually plays with some injuries that nor normal players couldn't play with. A good shot of this feed now from Bali. They win the ball, New Zealand. They go to blind. This is Rapati. Quickly put down by Tessman and Vaughton. Bali. Number Sorensen, Dane. Tessman doing a lot of tackling early as Wally Fullerton Smith. Broadhurst. New Zealand still very shallow. Back for the kick from right. And Varley chased that right through. Taken by Bowie. And gets a ball out for growth. The two wingers combining there. Good football, Australia. Right for Looking for runners. This is Miles. And Australia just outside their 22. Is the kick from Mortimer. Finds the line too. Good kick from Steve Mortimer. Well, let's hope that Steve Mortimer can settle down tonight and play the football that we see him play every week in Sydney. Yeah, it's a great little player, and that's typical of the way he can, can control a game. Well, he said this week he wanted to play his own game, and let's hope he does. New Zealand ball. Varley slips as he uh, takes the ball. Brought down quickly by Mortimer. This is Prome. This Prome makes territory every time he touches. A great potential, this kid. A very good player. Broadhurst. Oh, lovely pass up for West. The big fella striding out for New Zealand. Turns it back, though, but put down in Australia. Come up with it. Bad luck for the Kiwis and a good break from West. Gene Miles will play at the price. Is posted. And he works play 10 metres out from the Australian 22. Borton. That's what they're not to do. They must move up and make the tackle on the man quickly. Don't stand back and let them come to them. There's a long pass out this side to Price. Price throws a dummy. Got the arms clear and flings it back inside to Growth. And Growth right in from the other wing. He's keen tonight, the big fella. This is Fullerton Smith. Oh, and a hard tackle from Tamady. The Paris is play on though. Tessman fires it out for Lewis. Lewis looks a little chip over the top. Taken by Varley though. Flick back for Bell. There's the New Zealand coach, Graham Lowe. A familiar figure in Brisbane, actually, is coached up here. And honestly, I've never seen a coach so nervous this afternoon. Graham Lowe, great coach and a great uh, lover of the game. Right, back to New Zealand now. Here is uh, Sorensen, Dane. He's belted back by Brown, though. New Zealand getting in each other's way at the moment. Here's 
that pass look forward. Referee says play on. And they're standing still, New Zealand. Wright will kick for it. He does. Scott takes it 10 metres out from his line. Well, they take Scott. That's better play from New Zealand. Bottling Australia up inside their 22. that New Zealand looked a little flat then, didn't they? They sort of uh, didn't really know what to do. Again, a little timing of the pass when West made the break. Unfortunately, he just mistimed his pass or there could have been a try in the offing then. Harry Grove again handling the ball by G's Keane. His Krillich spinning out of tackles and high ones. Oh, and a few punches thrown. That's what tests are all about. Lewis, a long flatter out for Meninga. Meninga out of one, but they come back and get him. That's for a party. Lewis kicks for touch and he'll find it to uh, Barley. Handball it in. Great play from Barley. Almost basketball style. Right will play it to Barley. What a great bit of football. This is Kurt Sorensen. Watch this. Ball was dead set out. Look at that. Handball it in. Good football. Here's West. Over halfway now in New Zealand. Tamati. Bali. This is Dane Sorensen, but he runs into a, a wall of green and yellow. Tamati. Gordon Smith. Chip over the top. Chasing it through. Australia can't handle New Zealand ball. Referee says play on. Good decision. It's a nice pass to Rapati. Let's see what the big fella can do. But Australia swamp him about 12 metres out from the line. Bought in the tackling. Oh, I did this far. He's busy. This is Gordon Smith. Good pass out for Broadhurst. Can't unload. Sloppy defence there by Australia. They had plenty of men and uh, yet allow Gary Prome to go right around the man and unload to young Rapati to give him the break. We will lie with a loose pass and that's gone into touch. They settle down, they'll be all right, Gail. They've uh, got plenty of potential in the side, as we said, but they're just rushing their play. And they're getting, it's the man, the following man, getting up too flat to take the ball. That's the problem. Yeah, Deanville had no chance to take that pass. But they're inside the 22. Important feed. Mortimer comes away with it for Australia. Now it's a New Zealand ball. They've come up with it. Well, here's a chance for the Kiwis. This is Arcoy, gets it back into uh, Kurt Sorensen. Loose ball, taken by Gordon Smith. He's taken by Meninga. Tamati, this is Broadhurst. Broadhurst just settling the play, and they're 10 metres out. Tamati turns it back into Big West. Oh, they weren't expecting that. Broadhurst puts a looper out for Smith. Too much defence from Australia. Village waiting with Borton. This is Luolai, better pass out for Bo, he's put it down Bell, he's had a look again. And he's bundled in a touch. Well, Dean Bell has had uh, a little bit of nerves, I think that's twice he's had a look. It wasn't really a bad pass, he had a look at the opposition coming over. Well, it's heard footsteps there, I'd say. All right, this scrum, 12 metres out from the Australian line. Feeds for Australia. Should be an Australian ball, it is so. This Farley's an aggressive player. <laughs> the little men strike. <laughs> Always course for the little men, Arthur. And there's a, a looper from Ray Price. He's welcome to Lane Park, and I'll stop on your leg. And there's a punch. Well, I don't agree with any of that, Arthur. No, not good. It's certainly unnecessary. Uh, Price, he is a too good a footballer to be doing those sort of things. And a very unfortunate incident. Robin Whitfield having a bit to say to him. Here's the incident again. Prime was the man over the top. Barley underneath. There's the swinger. Obviously, uh, Ray didn't like being stomped on either. And there's the stomp on the leg. Not the sort of football you'd see Ray Price put together. I think Price, he might have come out second best on that one. He copped a few for his corner too. 
Nick Wright now with the first chance to put it on the board. It's not difficult. 20 metres out, and dead set in front. Arthur Beetson wearing his Australian blazer and looking quite resplendent, the big fella. Nick Wright. After we see Arthur uh, with the cigarettes so much, maybe he's sponsored by Winfield. I reckon he ought to be. He smokes enough of them. Nick Wright. Goes. He's made sure and he gets the points too. So the Kiwis are on the board. New Zealand 2, Australia 4. And the referee brings out the handkerchief, which is something we only see English referees do, waving them around. I guess the Frenchmen do it too. Oh, yes, it's a, it's a good move because it's often hard to pick up the timekeepers to get his arms waving for time on. So a white flag or a white hanky does help. Back in the back pocket now. Meninga kicks off for Australia. Taken by Kurt Sorensen. Oh, the chance for New Zealand too as Lou Alloy turns it back inside of a party, but they put it down. Australia come away with it. Through Meninga. Back to Lewis. And Australia back with a chance now. This is Tessman. Village. A shocking pass taken by Gene Miles. He's taken by Prone. Oh, Broadhurst puts one in, and Miles gives one back. Grilich, Mortimer, looking for the runners. Where are they? Oh, Australia having a look, and the ball's gone into touch. Well, that's a bad, uh, a bad blue from Colin Scott. A little touch there as Bowie says, settle it down. Yeah, these lob passes are not good, of course, and it sets the man up to be uh, hit pretty hard from the defence. There's the back lines now. Pretty even the way they're lined out. The scrum just inside Australia's territory. The referee getting right amongst the pack, let me tell you. Here's Varley. With the flat like that, Varley's got no chance of unloading the ball and getting the backs moving. Prone. Tackled by Lewis. Good tackle too. Prone lost a bit of ground then. Tamati. Smith. This is West. But she's a lanky second row of this West. There's plenty of him. Rifle kick. Not a bad place kick either. He's had a look. Oh, it's just about a metre too big though. He had a look. Bowie wasn't home and he said, I'll try it. Here it is again. Now he has a look, and Australia's out of position. It was a well-placed kick, but just about a metre over the line. Too many cornflakes. There it is there. All right, scrums back just inside Australia's territory, almost the same way. Look at the English referee going into the pack, Arthur. They do this quite often. One of these days they'll close on him and probably cut him in half, but... Uh... This is Lewis. Oh, good tackle on Lewis. They brought him down quickly. That was Freddie Arcoy. This is Miles. And Freddie doing a bit of tackling tonight. The North Sydney Bear. Tonight at Kiwi. Fullerton Smith. Prone the tackler. Sorensen over the top and another loose one in from Sorensen. And Fullerton Smith says, I'll give you one back too. And now the referee says, I'll give a penalty. That's a typical uh, example of a little bit of inexperience. He copped one for his corner, Fullerton Smith, but unfortunately he then wanted to hit back quickly instead of saving it up. And, of course, incurred the penalty. He was the one that got caught. But always the problem is, is the fellow that gets caught. Shane Varley actually came back and uh, applauded this decision. <laughs> oh, there's the first hit. <laughs> and Big Kurt not impressed. Nick Wright kicks for touch. New Zealand back on the attack, right on the 22. This is Tamati. Broadhurst and Tamati with a run around. Barley. Now it's prone. Tamati. Dane Sorensen. 
Ingram for Tamati. This is Broadhurst. Unloads to Wavali. Has Smith beside him. Home there, but they put it down. New Zealand still falling above. Well, it's pretty messy football at the moment. Kurt throws the ball down, and the referee, referee says, we'll put down a scrum. Scrums Australia 4, New Zealand 5, so nine scrums already. Certainly puts plenty down, this fella. That's the difference between the two sides, of course. The side that panics a little bit in crucial positions like New Zealand and Australia never do that. They're well drilled. They reform quickly in defence and move up very quickly. Great duel between the halfbacks tonight, too. This is Lewis. Strong player, Lewis. Oh, and Sorensen in again. Well, I said at the start of this game that Kurt Sorensen told me he was going to have one of the biggest games he could have. Well, big one time, but he's just thrown a few. Tessman. There's brother Dane in with West. Mortimer. Brown. Brown underneath. Brown through. There's a back up through Horton. Horton just caught that right on the halfway line. Sorensen, the tackler, he's certainly getting through the work. Australia put it down, New Zealand ball. Uh, good tackle there to unload, to sh shot that ball out of his hand. It was a savage hit. This is uh, Dean Bell. Oh, back slam down, thank you. It's real test match material, this stuff. Certainly is. Broadhurst. Bison brought the tacklers. Barley. Chips for the line. He'll find it too. No, run down and uh, Grove dies for it. Picks it up now and referee says, no, that's a knock on. Well, I disagree with that. <laughs> yes, probably not. I don't think he actually knocked the board for, ball forward, but uh, he does dive on it, then loses it. The ball rolls back. I'd have let it go to him. Right, there's the scrum, 10 metres out. Looks like a New Zealand ball. Chance for the Kiwis. This is right. This is prone. Arcoy dummy half. Lewis in the way. Arcoy goes for metres and got for Arcoy. And the New Zealand Kiwis are in. Good try. Oh, great try. Arcoy busted him. And West was there on his hip. Oh, that's good football. Freddie Arcoy, one day a North Sydney bear tonight, a little bird in the Kiwi uniform. Gets a beautiful pass out. Straight on to West, and West makes no bones about it. They were caught a little bit unawares, Australia. Fairly soft try here. The marker was nonplussed, and then uh, Freddie Arcoy just run through very weak defence onto West, who went over a fairly simple try. There's Big West and there's the score. New Zealand 6, Australia 4. We'll take a break and back at Lang Park. And he's got it. New Zealand now. 8-4. The Kiwis lead. Back live. And the crowd thought that Payne knocked it on then. Only about four metres out from his line. We've got a ball game in our hands. Bell. This will give the Kiwis a bit of confidence now. That's exactly what they wanted in the first test of two, but couldn't get a try, but they've got it in this one. See how they go now. Bad uh, place kick, though, then. Colin Scott gets a cheer because he took it. <laughs> He's tackled by Tamity, but Nick Wright should have kicked away from him. He kicked straight to him. Mortimer. Mortimer dancing around. Too much defence. Sorensen leaning on him. They want to be careful. Lewis. Oh, look at Sorensen in tackling everything. And has another go at him. He wants to be careful, Kurt. Could be an early shower if he's not. This is Tessman. The Australians are playing it in the forwards. The Kiwis won't mind that. They're playing into the hands a little bit. They should use these big centres. This is Price out wide. Price still going out of one. Belted down this time, though, by Prone. It's opposite number. There's a little chip from Mortimer. He's brought down after the kick. No, referee says go for it. This is right. Oh, and it's all happening here at Lane Park. Plenty tough at the moment. Here's the incident now. He's Mortimer. Chips over. You see he's brought down. The referee said play on. Back live. The Kiwis just short of their 22. Broadhurst. 
Arthur Beetson would be shocked at the results. Back to right, so obviously the tactics of New Zealand played in Australia's half. But straight to Scott again, not a good kick from right. Scott brought down by Luolo. This is Grove. Dane Sorensen and Big Rapati in for the tackles. Oh, and uh, Brown's mishandled. Throws it back, but the referee says we'll have a scrum. A little bit of indecision creeping into the Australian play. A bit unusual for a side that has, uh, should have gone on confident to win this game. Uh, they'll have to settle themselves and uh, control the phases of play that they should have and move to the big centres, Miles and Meninga. Get it out wide, away from this tight defensive pattern in close. New Zealand win it. They go the blind. Pretty Akkoi set that first break up. Ball almost to the touch, but Dean runs. Dean Bell runs it back. And they're back where they started. This is Gordon Smith. On to Broadhurst. He's got to start to unload. He does this time to Tamity. On to Dane. On to Kurt. Kurt going backwards. New Zealand losing territory. A wild pass. This handle. Fallen on by New Zealand. And the referee says play on. Six to go. And the crowd don't like that. Australia pinch it. This is uh, Meninga. Plenty of room for Meninga. Wrestle down though. Good defence. Well, growth unmarked there. He should have just unloaded that ball, taken the tackle and unloaded. Village. Australia's trying to spin it now. This is Miles. There's the replacements, Ray Brown and Steve Ella. It's uh, quite a mild night in Brisbane, let me tell you. It was very cold here last night, but a beautiful night for football. Here's West. Loose ball to Smith. They get it out wide. Let's see if this Dean Bell can run. He's got Boasted. He won't put Boasted. Heads for the open spaces, but Boasted brings him down. The great tackle. Oh, this is good stuff. The Kiwis have come alive. Akoi. Smith. That was prone. This is, this is Dane Sorensen. Is Graham Lowe. It's great to look at the coaches' faces. They go through just as much as the players. Prime with a good pass. On the right. The right's a bit slow. He's barreled down by Lewis. And wrapped up ball and all. Broadhurst. Lewilai. Lewilai. Out of one. Lewilai. Into the open. They've got a chance. Broadhurst too slow though. He's brought down. Lewis the tackler. But the Kiwis are firing on all eight cylinders at the moment. Right for the field goal attempt, and it's there. Oh, he's got the extras, and there's the white hanky out now. <laughs> well, the Kiwis have shocked this crowd. New Zealand 9, Australia 4. Well, don't get me wrong, and I had a laugh there, but this referee's actions are something else to see. I'm not laughing because Australia's behind. With this crowd of shell shock at the moment. So is Australia. I think they've really, uh, this niggling tactics early in the piece have really upset the Australians, put them off their rhythm, and they can't uh, can't handle uh, the going at the moment too good at all. This is Tamity. Just bustles his way a couple of metres. Tamity has made 15 tackles already in this game. Great player. Dane Sorensen. Tackler Mortimer. Broadhurst flicks one out wide. Diwali, they're running around the spot. West says, I'll put it into gear and go. Tammany giving a lot of signals from the dummy half. To Smith, the chip over the top, the runners are there. Oh, and they've uh, to put it on the toe, but the referee will pull it back. Prone has dived on it, but the referee says no back. Here's a little chip. It was a nicely placed kick, Arthur, wasn't it? Very well done. There was plenty of uh, players coming on, but Prone just come, bounces it off his hand and then puts it on the toe. Dick couldn't get away with it. Very quick to pick that up, referee Whitfield. Very good decision. Well, about six and a half minutes out from half time. The scoreline reached 9 4 New Zealand. Australia ball. Colin 
Jordan Scott. Spent time in the back line tonight. Meninga. Hasn't had too many touches, are they? No, not really. He, this is the fellow they've got to use more. He's big and strong, and they've got to really start moving that. But they've put the ball down again, Australia. There's a misunderstanding between the forwards. This is terrible. Well, they're playing it in the forwards, and they want to be getting it out wide. This is the part of their problem. It's being bottled up in close, and the Kiwis are handling that situation very well. Gordon Smith will play it back to Tamati. This is Dane Sorensen. That's his brother, Kurt. This time they belt him back. And wrap him up, ball and all. Broadhurst winds up, turns it back to Varley. Varley quickly to Smith. Smith with a little gap, but uh, closes quickly. Dave Brown and Fullerton Smith. Tamity is the organiser of the side. Very busy player. Look at him pushing the Australians out of the way. He wants to get on with it. Bomb. Through they come, the New Zealanders. Taken beautifully by Colin Scott, though. Oh, that was a great take. Plenty of courage there. Fabulous take. By G had some pressure on him here, Colin Scott. They all came through. He made sure he had it and made sure he stayed in the field of play. Good play. Great. We're back live. Great. The party wanted to mark him, and he's got his hands full. Kulich. Head down, Max. Well, he'd hate to go out in a losing note. His last test will spur him on. Here's Baltimore. Baltimore with a little jiggy run. That's a nice pass out to Meninga. Let Meninga bottle up. Better play from little Mortimer, sparking this Australian side. Yes, he dropped the ball, but the, uh, there was a punch thrown in the ruck by, uh, by the big Kiwi. And brilliant dash here by young Mortimer. He does very well. Unloads inside to Meninga. He comes on the burst strongly, and there's the punch goes in now. Tamati needn't do those sort of things. Well, I don't, I don't know if I'd call it... Uh, well, I don't know. Yes, <laughs> certainly was a punch. It didn't miss him. <laughs> I was just about to say, I don't think it was. Gorton. Australia now, about 11 metres out from the new line. Australia's dropped it again. Well, a little bit inconsistent there. He's let play go on from very loose play at times, and then this in particular, the ball was lost in the tackle, and uh, Max Kulich did fall on it, and uh, then he pulled it up for no apparent reason, that one. Well, New Zealand is still very flat in attack. They'll win this ball. No, they've won it against their head. Australia, this is Price, weaving and bobbing. Oh, and Rice put one into him. Well, the New Zealand tactics are pretty obvious. Wright is saying that he's uh, had a problem being bitten by the look of it. Berkeley's saying, there it is, sir. And Whitfield is laying down the law, and I'll tell you what, he's got plenty to say. Penalty Australia. Well, it's tended to upset their rhythm, the Australians, and they've allowed it to... Uh, this niggling tactics, is, which is good tactics from Graham, Graham Lowe, and has, up, has upset them a little bit. But they'll settle down. They're too good a side. Very professional. Price getting some attention as Meninga sets up the ball. Meninga, only his second kick of the night. There's the hanky out. This time to wipe the face. Not to wave to the, uh, to the time judges. And it really is a pretty warm night in Brisbane tonight. Beautiful conditions. There's the position of, of this kick. That's the 22 line you can see. So it's about a meter in from there and about uh, 11 in from touch. There it is. Pretty important one for Australia too. We're almost to half time. Great kick. Meninga brings Australia back. Scoreline now, New Zealand 9, Australia 6. About two minutes out from half-time now. Nick Wright. There it 
goes. A pretty deep kick again. Nick Wright taken beautifully by Colin Scott. Well, they've always said he's been a bit suspect, but she's pretty safe tonight. He's had a big game tonight. He's tending to stand a little bit deep for those kicks. All of them have caused him a bit of concern tonight. Surely he could come in a few more feet and make the kick, take the catch a bit easier. This is Tessman, and of course, Scott and Tessman having their first uh, big run for Australia. This is Miles, almost through to just an ankle tap from Arcoy. Gulich. This is Lewis. Soft chip through, taken well by Varley. Back to right. Right out of two, still going right. He's out of three, gets a great pass away to Smith. Smith falling down the sideline, he's got support in the party. But the referee with Phil is pulling up. But he's put in the touch. Oh, and a promising move from New Zealand then. Well, bad football there from Rapati. He had the line there. All he had to do was run along the line and stay in field. But he was actually out of the field when he took the ball. I'm not kidding. He'd have the biggest legs I've seen since John Sattler. He should have used them to stay in then. <laughs> Always an answer after summons. This is Lewis. Miles. Oh, look at the elbows going in. Koy, I don't think I've seen Arcoy that aggressive. Morton. Australia pretty flat at the moment. Mortimer with a little chip. Following it through Mortimer. Rapati takes it. And Mortimer takes him. And cops one for his trouble too. <laughs> Referee says off him. Penalty to New Zealand. Holding Rapati down. Let's see it again. Well, Mortimer's all over it like a rash. It's an old trick there, Dale. You hold their jumper down and it looks as though they're laying on you, but it's worked here in this case. Back live and the right has taken the kick for New Zealand. And there's the half-time hooter. Right, there could be a bomb. Watch Tamity. There it is. Nick Wright's put the bomb up. Taken well by Meninga. Oh, he passed it then too, which is pretty dangerous stuff. And the half-time score at the moment is Australia 6, trailing New Zealand 9 in a moment. The legendary young Arthur Summons will be joined by the old bear himself. Gibson for the full report for you. Scoreline 9-6 New Zealand. Penalties 5-4 Australia's way. Scrums 8-7 Australia's way. Back after the break. Welcome, Mark, our big Saturday night football doubleheader. The first encounter, Australia versus New Zealand in the second test, and the scoreline, New Zealand 9, Australia 6. I must say, Arthur, every time Sydney viewers look at Lang Park, there's an amazing scoreline. It's a tremendous atmosphere and uh, usually a great decisions in the fourth game. Yeah, Tom. I say New South Wales getting hidings, now Australia... I must say, they're not getting a hiding, but the Kiwis are really stacking it up to them. Well, Graham Lowe certainly revved them up earlier today, and uh, they've come on the field. They've tried a good tactics, actually. They've niggled the Australians in a few bits of punches, you know, little nasty things that have probably upset them a bit, and they've allowed that to uh, disrupt their pattern of play. Gee, I agree with you. You know, Australia, why they're not playing it out wide when you've got the biggest three-quarter line in the world? Why they keep playing it in the forwards? They're playing right into the Kiwis' hands. I'd agree entirely, Mike. This is one of the major faults they've got. Nardi better work on it at halftime because uh, uh, with Miles and Meninga, they're great footballers. They're playing with a lot of confidence, and that's the area we can be making breaks because the Kiwi centres are small. Well, they're small, and it was certainly one of the big men who scored for Australia. Would you believe after only three minutes, big Eric Grace. Let's have a look at it. Great with a great chance, about six metres out. They go to the blind side. Under Meninga. Meninga puts the power on. Flicks the ball out wide. And Australia's in. Oh, great try. Yeah, probably a fairly soft try. They had plenty of defence here. Tackled and the ball bounced off the chest of Bullard and Smith straight into Groth's hands. It was Johnny on the spot to go over for a very good try. Good result for Australia there, of course. Wide ball to uh, Meninga. And, of course, Varley makes the tackle on Fullerton Smith, but the ball sort of just goes into the air and suddenly Groves there to get the ball. He couldn't have really stopped that try, the Kiwis. They did very well to even get to him. Well, Australia went to a 4-0 lead in the first three minutes, and I thought this is going to be a shut-the-gate job. It'll be like the uh, the Yanks versus Australia in Rugby Union this afternoon. But you were right. You said if the Kiwis just stuck to it, 
and uh, didn't get rattled they get back into it and they certainly have yeah good try there fairly soft try their next try but they they've been moving up and tackling low on the Australians and making them work and the Aussies haven't really moved the ball as well as they should and I some think. of our forwards uh, to be honest have been pretty crook I mean uh, some of them have been crook they've been a bit sick with the flu and they look like it Tessman uh, is not doing much out there Fullerton Smith's having an ordinary game Yes, and Mike, if you're a crook, you shouldn't take the field because you don't get too many allocades. All they'll get from this one is criticism if they play badly. Let's have a look now at, a, at uh, the Kiwis' first try, I should say, set up by the North Sydney Reserve Grade 5'8", Freddie Arcoy. Arcoy, dummy half. Lewis in the way, Arcoy goes for Manners and got for Arcoy. He gets on the west, and the New Zealand Kiwis are in. Good try. Pretty soft try here, Mike. Um, actually, it all started from the play of the ball when uh, Wally Lewis was on the ground, of course, and then Arcoy just picked it up. The marker was asleep. The forwards went to sleep, and it was just simply a matter of running, taking the tackle from the fullback, giving it on to West, and Arcoy went for the simplest of tries. Well, I've told us for years what a good player Freddie Arcoy is, the Kiwis. He was the man of the tour in England. He's, he can't pull it out for the Bears, but he's done it for the Kiwis. Well, if you play with better players and get inspired by the fact that you're playing for your country, it possibly does bring out the best in you. As you say, Arthur, we're falling into the trap. The uh, Kiwis are niggling us, and uh, one fellow who surprisingly fell into the trap in the first half, the old veteran, Ray Price himself. Let's have a look at uh, Ray's little encounter. Now we have it. Well, Ray Price, as I said, he's been involved in a few spiteful incidents. Well, that and, was uh, one that he needed to have got involved in, Mike. Uh, it was a matter of him standing on a fellow's leg, but that's the sort of spite that's been creeping back in by the Kiwis, little niggling things, not terribly bad, but Australia's been sucked in and they want to keep out of it if they can. Well, we have a real test match in our hands, our uh, big Saturday night double header, first encounter, Australia-New Zealand. We'll be back in a moment with more from Lang Park. New Zealand leading nine points to six. That explosive test series here. Mal Meninga kicking off for Australia. Taken by Wright, drops it behind him. Flicks it out to Rapati. And Rapati crashes just over the 22 for New Zealand. This is Broadhurst. Broughton and Tessman, the major tacklers in with Brown. Back to right for the kick, so the tactic's still on. Played in Australia's half. Oh, and mishandled by Growth. But uh, the referee says play on. And Scott will play it on halfway. This is Tessman. Bit of a Christmas hole there from Tamity and slams him backwards two, th two or three metres. Village. Brown. Village. And the Mortimer. Mortimer switches it to Grove. Lewis. Lewis with a long pass out for Miles, but uh, brought down. And Luolai doing a lot of tackling. There's Lewis with a stab kick for the line taken uh, by West, though. And he's wrestled down by Meningra and Miles. This is Dean Bell at uh, dummy half. Barley. Sorensen of the Dane variety. Running around everywhere, they're mishandled. So in Australian ball, Dave Brown decides to take the tackle. He's tackled by Broadhurst. The two big men meet. Mortimer. Meninga. Australian tactics seem to be to be moving the ball a little wider, which is good. And the sooner they do that, the better. This is uh, Wally Fullerton Smith. Broadhurst again, the tackler. Mortimer, Krillich, this is Vorton. Plome, the tackler. Tessman. Lewis. And Lewis being well contained tonight. Yes, he has too, but then he's starting to probe a little stronger there. But, of course, no support, which is unfortunate. They need the support to come quickly to him. Mortimer, he'll kick. There's the bomb. Right underneath it, and Tessman just charging at him, and Tessman hit him, and they dropped the ball. Well, he's come up with it, Mortimer's got some cramp. But the toe's bent back, trying to get the uh, circulation going. 
This is Rapati. Oh, that was a big hit from Tessman. Dane Sorensen. Broadhurst. Australian forwards want to start going low. They're starting, they're tending to tackle high and they'll get brushed off doing that. Right, every time New Zealand get in the trouble, he'll drive it downfield. But he's kicking, oh, and Scott's, uh, well, he's mishandled that one. And the referee says, knock on. And Arthur beats him there, not looking too happy at all. We'll, ha we'll have another cigarette, Arthur. Well, that goes back to uh, you saying that, that Scott's just a little bit too deep. Yeah, he seems to find himself out of position, and if he can't make the ball, he'd be better off letting it bounce. I know that's a, a sin for a fullback to do that. This is Barley. Barley out the open space is Barley. Still going. He's got the support too. And New Zealand will be in. No doubt about it. Oh, what a great try from Luolai. And Graham Lowe delighted. Look at them. The Kiwis jumping up and down. And that was another beaut try. Little Barley from the base of the scrum. Just set him up and went round him. And went round Ray Price. And you don't do that too easy. There's Bostead. He's wrong-footed. Lui comes in, heads for the line. They weren't going to stop him. Bowie comes back at him, but it's too late. And that's a great try to New Zealand. Yes, Price here takes the dummy, which is most unusual. He's Barley just dwelt a little bit and then kicked on into the gap. And of course, had Bostead turned around, where which is a bad position, Bowie should have come in and made the tackle on Barley. But once they go over to Lui, away he went. He's very quick. There's the scoreline. New Zealand 13 leading Australia 6. We'll take a commercial. Back with all the action to Lang Park. Oh, and it's right over the black dot. So the scoreline now reads 15 points to 6 New Zealand. We're back live. And to our viewers in New Zealand, Wide World of Sports says hello to you. And I guess you're pretty excited at the moment because it's a great performance we're seeing from New Zealand. Dane Sorensen. Rice, Fullerton, Smith and Brown, the tacklers. The kick again from right. Well, they're driving Australia back. They're turning them around. Colin Scott. Takes play about a metre and a half from the Australian 22. And the green and goals. And yes, they've got to settle their play right down there. Here's Lewis. Lewis, the magic of Lewis. He gets a pass out the road. And the big man goes. He's only got right to beat. Turns it back inside the ball. Great tackle. Oh, this is champagne stuff at Lang Park. Great stuff from the New Zealanders. And good attack from Australia. Now they show it wide. Oh, they've put it down. Borton couldn't take it. That's disgraceful football from Australia. Growth didn't go on with the uh, try. He should have really forced the issue then. And then Fullerton and Smith just thrown the ball anyway. Oh, mate, they butchered that one. That should have been a try. But let's not take it away from Nick Wright. He had to take him and he took him. Got to his ankle and came back. This is Tessman. Australia desperate. He gets it on the miles. He's belted down. Ten metres out from the New Zealand line. Tessman swings at the Mortimer. Mortimer slips. Oh, and he's lost the ball too. Mark Coyle play it. This is Lualai. The look alike from Mark Coyle. They look alike from a distance, let me tell you. And they're back to the 22. Another kick from right. Colin Scott caught. He's got to run back for it. Well, a lot of Sydney siders criticised Colin Scott's position uh, or play in the set of origin games and said shouldn't have been picked tonight. Marty Gurr should have had to jump up. And I tell you what, he'll want to start uh, lifting his game a bit. There's Grove has put it down now. West has picked it up. <laughs> and the referee having plenty to say. And look at the faces on the New Zealanders. Well, I really can't understand that signal. Let's have a look at it. There's Barley. He's belted down by Growth. West picked it up. Well, the ball went forward, Darrell, and uh, he was offside, and the referee ruled correctly there. The colourful referee. The signal sometimes a little hard to, to pick up. 
and the crowd now is starting to say, come on, Australia. They can't believe this. It's Morton. Morton. Nice call to Krillich. Western tackle. And Australia very deep at the moment. Really deep, Australia. Lewis, Vorton, spinning around. Puts the ball down. And that'll force a scrum. They've just got to settle their play a little. They're starting to rush it again and panic because they've missed those tries. But there was two certain tries went begging there. There's the back line shots for you. Both sides pretty flat in attack at the moment. Barley. Geez, impressed with this Barley. Price won't let him go this time. He'll make sure he <laughs> gives him a good serve from here on him. Home. Thornton and Price, the tacklers. Tamity on the Dane Sorensen. This is Broadhurst, testing the tackler. Price underneath. Tamity. Barley. And they start to spin it wide. Big West, but he can't get to free this time. Even the Kiwis are using their strength out wide, having West come off the centre, and Australia are not doing that. Oh, and West having a bit to say then too as the, uh, the studs went in. There's the kick for touch, too big though. Nick Wright, he's kicked pretty well, he's put two out on the full, but in general play... He's controlled the game pretty well, Darrell, I agree with you. The only two mistakes he's made is two of those out on the full. New Zealand have kicked 15 times in general play, so they're obviously under orders. Here's Grove. Look at Rapati moving in now. He won't let him go this time. The two big wingers clashing. Aren't they big? Mortimer. Lewis. Miles. Meninga puts it down. New Zealand ball through West. Well, New Zealand are jumping on anything that's loose, aren't they? It's the only way to go, too. That's good football. Price is uh, down injured too, holding the jaw. An incredible man, he takes some punishment. Dane Sorensen. On to well. Lewis and Vorton attack us. Arcoy is down in the back play also getting treatment. Brown flicks a ball up for Price. Australia's chance. Meninga, they bolt him up. He throws a loose one back. New Zealand come away with it through Barley. And he's brought down by Price. Well, Price must be on roller skates. How did he get there? He was down a minute ago. New Zealand running through Kurt Sorensen. Back on the Luwalai. He's tackled by Miles. Kurt Sorensen. Takes the settler for New Zealand. I'll be having a few words to say to Growth. This is Dane Sorensen. Back to West. West with a bust. Now it's Broadhurst. Bustling run. No, it was West. I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> now it's Broadhurst. Smith goes to right. Here's the bomb. Australia have it well covered. New Zealand coming through. But Scott takes it this time and gets a pass out wide to Boasted. Boasted tackled just over the 22. Testman. Village. Lewis. This is Miles. Well, Miles hasn't really been effective other than that one big break tonight. He's been the form centre in the State of Origin games, but in this one, not so good. And there's a loose pass from the man I talked to, towed through by Rapati. Rapati picks it up, but he just can't make it. Great tackle. That was from Scott. Prone, prone from dummy half, trying to bustle his way over. Rapati in there to push him. Rapati gets it back to Smith. Onto Arcoy, onto Luolai. He's dancing, back to Arcoy. And he's belted down by Brown. They're only 13 metres out from the Aussie line. Great defence there from Australia. Tammany, Sorensen. 
Back to right. Still 11 metres out, the Kiwis. Oh, and they're running onto this ball hard, and there's a good pass. He turns a, the ball out, handball back to losing a lot of ground. Chance for Australia, they can pick it up. Oh, Meninga just falls on it, but there's been a knock on. And Graham Lowe not happy with that. Oh, look at him. Certainly not a good pass there from Bali. He just hit the ball on and it created a great danger there for them because Australia can score from any position on this ground. All right, this scrum packed on the Australian 22. New Zealand ball. Bali flicks it out for a party. Can't handle it. Picked up by Growth. Growth away. Out of one, but Wright will get him. And Wright's got the ball. No, Growth comes up with it. This is Lewis. Actually, Wright has handled Growth very well tonight. Oh, he really has. Mortimer, Krillich. <laughs> they cut out Tasman, give it to Meninga. They flick one back through Krillich. Out the boasted. He's got support. They put it down again, Australia. Colin Scott couldn't handle it. And New Zealand have the ball through Lualai. They've gone the blind side. Kurt Sorensen, or is it Dane? No, it's Dane. Kiwis back to the 22, Broadhurst. Don't deserve to win tests with those sort of mistakes, Darrell. But Growth has got to get himself into position and play with more purpose than he's doing. This is Smith. And that was a big hit then from Australia on uh, Dean Bell. Runarounds going, there's the kick up, it's not a bad kick. They're charging through the Kiwis, it comes back their way, but penalty Australia. Played the man instead of the ball then. West didn't even go for the ball. There's a good kick there by Smith. He's a great little general, this fellow. And uh, West never even looked at the ball. He just ran into the full back and a uh, good decision by the referee there. Back live and Lewis has kicked for touch for Australia. Krillich will restart right on the 22. Here's Grape. But they've covered growth well today. He's running sideways quite a bit after. Well, I don't know whether he's quite fit. Uh, he seems to have... Uh, he had that break earlier and uh, did nothing with it. Great price through. Flicks it out. Miles on the Meninga. Meninga puts it in the gear. Streaking down over the 22. The cover's coming over. And oh, Mick White has bothered him in the touch. And look at Arthur Beetson. This Mick White is one of the best defenders I've seen for a while. What a great tackle. Watch it again. Bell's after him from behind. Meninga puts it into stride and Wright comes along and they bundle him in and he loses the ball too. Oh, this Wright's been impressive. Oh, and have a look at his nose, Meninga. Plenty of claret coming out of that. Oh, boy. New Zealand ball, but Mortimer dives on the Bali. Well, this Wright's done nothing wrong, has he? He's had a great game of football. It was a great try-saving try uh, tackle then on Meninga and uh, even lost the ball as well. Well, I'm a bit worried about his pace. Forget his pace, his defence has been tremendous. This is Dane Sorensen. Through Sorensen, through one, Borton gets him. He's through Borton. They're going high, you see. They've got to go low on them all. They, they can't allow them to run. Well, Luton Smith got him, though. Back for the kick. There's the tactics. Drive it back up Australia's way. Colin Scott. He's brought down. Good defence. That's Lewis. That's Arcoy. Price. Pretty lethargic Australian side. Not, a two, not getting back quick enough. They got the ball. They should be attacking from there. Lewis. Tessman. Tessman out of one. Can he unload? Yes, he can, but they can't handle it. Miles put it down and Varley comes away with it. Well, he's running backwards, Varley. He's run 20 metres backwards. <laughs> and brought down by Mortimer and the crowd love that. <laughs> the two little men dueling. Well, Australia have dropped 16 balls in this game, and that is amazing. Who would have believed that? And this Kiwi defence has caused most of it. 
Yes, it's been great defence. They're hitting the man, they're putting him on the deck, and that's the answer in Test Match Football. Kurt Sorensen, he's through again. The big fella loping up. Can he get through, Scott? Scott gets him. Morton really misses, but he missed badly there. Cesar Coy. And they're almost back to the 22. Fifth tackle for New Zealand. Back for the kick. And Broadhurst has kicked that, would you believe? And taken by Mortimer. And he's taken by Prome. Well, New Zealand in spite at the moment. Everybody getting involved. Colin Scott. Tackled 10 metres out right in front of the sticks. Great. Broadhurst down low, and that's the way they've been tackling, are they? Yes, even West, the big man, goes low. This is the answer in this sort of football. Australia is still going high and getting brushed off. Well, our viewers in New Zealand will be out of their minds at this stage as Lewis drives the ball down and taken by Wright. Perfectly positioned. Tackled by Lewis. Mortimer down injured at the moment. Just for party. Mortimer not well. He just went to get up and fell back down again. This is Dane Sorensen. Tackled by Vorton. And Pillich. Tamati. Inside the 22. Mortimer honestly is in Disneyland, Disneyland at the moment. He doesn't know where he is. The knees have completely gone. He's sitting on the trainer's knee at the moment, trying to get the, the air and the head together. This is Smith. And Borton tackling like a man possessed. There he is, the little fella, not well. Kurt Sorensen puts up the big kick. Taken by Boasting. And he's taken by Dean Bell. inspired footballer Kiwis, Graham Lowe really revved them up, but they've gone on with a job in true Kiwi spirit, full marks to them. Well, let me know, he, I'll tell you something, he was revving them up at quarter to five this afternoon at the uh, motel in Brisbane, and we made the comment we thought it was too early. Too early? <laughs> He's got them jumping out of their skins. Steve Mortimer coming back, but uh, gee's not too good. He's coming out onto the wing area. He's got a cut over the eye, and the, the trainer talking to him. He really doesn't know where he is. OK, Max Kulich now, just a few metres into New Zealand territory. And Australia's too slow. Dave Brown turns it back to Tessman. Price was there, but he couldn't get it. Wally Fullerton Smith. Lewis. Fires one back to Mortimer. The little fella running all right. He's a genius if he stays there because he was out like a light. Mortimer down on the knee again. He's just pacing himself pretty well. And Australia fumbled again. And New Zealand will come up with it. Arthur Beetson scratching the head. He can't believe it. Well, Australia has still got it. How that worked, I don't know. They've both scrapped at it. They've come up with it. This is uh, Lewis. Lewis with a gap. West grabs him. He's trying to unload it. He does great play from Lewis. Gets it on to Vorton. Vorton flicks it up now to Fullerton Smith. But they're going nowhere. This Lewis like and tackle is not much of him. Tessman. Can't unload, he's belted back by the man I talked about, Luolai. Price, Mortimer, knocked down though, picked up by Krillich. Replacement warming up, that's Ella, Steve Ella warming up. I'd say he'll come on at halfback. Dave Brown. And now Australia only 10, minute, 10 metres out, this is Fullerton Smith. This is the Queenslanders urging him on. He's two metres out. They need to try badly here. 
Mortimer can't uh, get the ball. Now he picks it up. Referee pulls it up. Penalty New Zealand. Well, a strange decision there, Darrell. He's indicating they gave elbows. Well, Steve Mortimer is sober with the trainer again. I don't think he wants to go off, obviously. Yes, he is. I didn't think he'd stay. He was really groggy. Well, he just doesn't have any luck in representative matches, does he? Not really. He was playing quite well. It was just a bit unfortunate. He got a very bad bump. There's Ella. The Parramatta Flyer. Can he spark this Australian side? Because they need sparking. Sorensen gets it onto his brother Kurt. Oh, he lost it. The for real pack of scrum. There's Steve Mortimer. What a disappointed little fellow he'd be. He plays so well at club football and has so much rotten luck when he plays representative football. Very dejected. Lewis playing at half, so we'll look up where Ella is. He's gone into 5-8, Ella. There he is now in 14. And New Zealand have won another scrum against the head, so they're doing everything right. Nothing going for Australia at the moment. This is Arkoy. Arkoy through the gap. Still going. Running out of support room, so he takes the tackle. That's good play. I can't believe Borton misses tackles like that. He knocks people down every day in Sydney, and yet in today's test match, he's missed four or five... Crucial tackle. Unbelievable. This is Prome. Tamity. Smith. Nice pull up for West. He unloads again to Luolai. Luolai. Luolai still going. About 14 metres out from Australia and New Zealand looking good. Good tackle, Ella. Broadhurst. Varley. Varley. Out for Kurt Sorensen. A ball off for Rob Varley. And Rob Varley's in. Oh, I don't believe it. What a great ball. again they're cutting us to pieces and they're doing it with all the class that deserves it here's Sorensen he burst out of the tackle great pass and Rapati got round growth did it pretty easily too and that's why he wanted to mark growth he thought he could do that he's big tough and 20 years of age and the smallest of six very simple try this one and just uh, went along the line this is the good pass but growth had his back turned of course he hasn't been doing it all night growth and uh, he got to the player, uh, Rapati, and should have made the tackle. Oh, I'll take some oxygen. We'll take a commercial and back at Lang Park shortly. And this is the way, so scoreline re remains. New Zealand 19 leading Australia 6 and a shocker here at Lang Park in Brisbane. Oh, look at Lowe. He said I wanted that kick. <laughs> He's a dedicated man and one of the nicest I've met in rugby league too. of the long white cloud they won't go to sleep tonight the place will have an all-night party New Zealand with the ball inside their 22 Prime Bella down by Meninga back to right for the kick they're sticking with their match plan this time it bounces awkwardly. Picked up by Scott, and he's picked up by Smith. This is Fullerton Smith. Village. Run around with Lewis. There's Ella. Ella. Ella puts on the pace. Ella. He's away. Oh, and down the game with some great defense. That was West. Referee in. Penalty to Australia. And they need a try badly, Australia. It, it was nearly on then. Came in off the wing. Bell lined him right out. A good saving tackle there from that Dean Bell. Came in off his wing at the right time. Good clear signal from the referee, Robin Whitfield. Penalties, Australia 9, New Zealand 5. Lewis kicks the touch, and Australia need to put some points on and do it right now. Let's see if they can do it. Right, run around.
crowd's going everywhere. Ah, oh, the fun of it. Can you believe this? They have put it down. Ray Brown is on. Tessman is off, and Ray Brown is on. Well, that's just happened. Tessman off, I repeat. Ray Brown is on. Broadhurst, Smith, Dane Sorensen. The New Zealand replacement sitting there, Ron Regan and Ian Bell. And he is the brother of Dean, uh, Dean Bell, the winger. But here they go again. They put it down this time, though. And Vorton will... Brown will tidy up for Australia. Ray Brown. Oh, come on, Australia. They put another ball down. Dean Bell falls on it. Referee says off the foot. Play on. Well, I'll talk about this for a while. Brown. There's nothing... Nothing short of sensational every time we come to Lang Park, Arthur. It's a great ground. It's a magnificent ground, and of course, uh, the Kiwis are giving Australia a football lesson. We thought it'd be the other way around, but it's certainly not the case tonight. Tamity, he's been busy. Dane Sorensen, he and his brother, been strong. Well, Ray Brown had it. Now New Zealand have got it through Tamity. No, Ray Brown's got it again. <laughs> I can't understand that. He should play on. I don't care. The Aussies have got it through Vaughton. Village. Fullerton Smith. Still tackling low, the Kiwis, and that's the big difference in this game. Well, the New Zealand front row have averaged 20 tackles each. Australia have missed 16 tackles, and that is a stat I never thought I'd say. Here's Colin Scott. Gets a pass out to Ella. Look at the black jump as they come from everywhere. Great defence. Look at Lowe, he's up and down like a yo-yo. Miles. Gets it back to Krillich. Australia can score here, but they've got to keep it alive. Krillich wrapped up. Little eye the tackler. And he's been effective tonight. 11 tackles in this match, and they've been critical ones. Brown. for the kick Lewis there it is and it goes straight up and down and the referees are wanted a penalty to uh, New Zealand using an elbow <laughs> he's very quick to uh, pick these things up I didn't see anything much and, uh, but he must have seen something 10 minutes to go scoreline New Zealand 19 Australia 6 Penalties Australia six and uh, New Zealand nine, so it's not the difference we expected with Robin Whitfield. Your impressions of him so far, Arthur? Well, some of his decisions are a little strange, but in the main, he's very consistent in his rulings and gives good directions with his arm. Dane Sorensen. Tamity. This is West. second runner plays it back to Tammany Barley on to Smith this is Sorensen out wide puts a looper up taken by Luolai Luolai's got support Smith is winning a little 5-8 puts it back to Broadhurst the big fella loping upfield they're a chance to get into party puts it down Broadhurst has fallen on it though bad pass there from uh, Broadhurst he should have unloaded earlier. He wasn't and didn't have the pace and he had the party outside. He should have moved it quickly. Well, this Lewalai's got some pace. He's pretty clever and Smith having had a clever game too. Interesting to notice that New Zealand have averaged 50 metres in attack. Now, that's an average of six uh, tackles, of course. Australia, 30 metres. A break, though, this time by Ella. Brought down by Wright, pretty high. Crowd not happy. Referee says play on. Ray Brown. Both replacements on for Australia. Fullerton Smith. They've got to look for support. Fulton Smith's been running to ground all the all night. Billich with a characteristic run of his. Makes four or five metres and takes play midway between the quarter and a half. New Zealand's into the ground. Dave Brown. 
Tammany is fairly can tackle anything above grass level. Around the ankles. 30 tackles he's made. Tammany, what a great effort. Even Wally Smith's brilliant passing's not coming off tonight. He threw a long one then to boost that and nowhere near him. Wally Lewis, I know. Right, the scrum packed. 32 metres out from the New Zealand line. They win the ball. This is Varley. He's tackled by Ella. Smith. Ella and Price take Smith. And he takes play within about eight metres of the halfway line. Broadhurst, Ella one. Back to Arcoy. Tackled by Brown. Chrome tries to get the ball away. And Bella's got it, uh, well, sort of. He'll play it. Smith. The runners come in west. Smith. They put it down this time, though, through Kurt Sorensen. Arthur, I'm going to say something. I hope, if Australia can't get out of this game, that they, they don't blame an illness that went through the camp through the week. And because uh, I spoke to players and they said they felt OK. Testman was a little off colour today because this has been a very, very good performance by New Zealand. It's been a magnificent performance. They've certainly deserved to win this game if that's what happens. Scott. It's a swarming defence, this New Zealand defence. Bosted. Maybe Australia Arthur took them a... very, very dejected. Maybe they took them a little bit cheaply, um, but they shouldn't have because test matches and rugby league games are certainly never won by off the field. They're one on the paddock. Meninga. But Smith uh, grabs him. West, I mean. Grabs him and wraps him up. Krillich. Vorton. Ray Brown out wide. Gets it on to Bostead. Bostead still going. Out of two. Oh, and just brought down by Dane Sorensen. Paul Vorton. Meninga. This is Lewis. Kicking for a line. Rapati's missed it. And that'll find time. Fine kick from Lewis. Fine kick. That's better football. They're starting to try and control the game again instead of letting them get away from them. They've allowed uh, allowed the Kiwis to dictate all phases tonight and this is a game. They're back in the picture if they can control their effort. Well, there's only five minutes of this match remaining. New Zealand 19, Australia 6. And Australia will have to do something fairly and wonderful to get out of this. Here's Price running from uh, the base of the scrum. Price gets a good ball out to Lewis. Lewis keeps it alive with a long wall, floating pass, picked up by Meninga. Meninga, they're throwing it around to Ella. Ella, out to Bowie. They turn it back inside to Scott. What a brought down. What magnificent defence. They've come from the clouds to stop that try then. Right across they come, here's Lewis. Oh, the last ditch ankle brought him down. Shane Barley down, Ella, Ella, Ella. Got to be close. Can he get it down? It's a try right under the post to replacement Steve Ella. And boy, oh boy, did they need that. Well, Australia had kept it alive. Here's Ella running from the dummy half position underneath the post. And that's a certain try for Australia, one they needed. There's two Kiwis down, injured from that magnificent defence that they put on earlier, but Ella just simply run from dummy half and forced his way over. Even then, there was two Kiwis hand making the tackle. A magnificent tackling effort by these Kiwis tonight. Steve Ella, the Parramatta Flyer. We said, could he spark the side? And he scored a try. Players down like a battlefield. Here's Meninga. Right in front. Gets the extras. Mal Meninga kicking the goal for Australia. New Zealand 19, Australia 12. And they're making a run back, Australia. 
They've got to score twice, though, and time is running out. Nick Wright. And he's kick right all night, too. Taken by Scott. And Scott will bring it back to the 22. Gulich, Price. But look at this defense. It's just swarming in on Australia. Won't let them even up to play the ball. They can sense victory. And what a historic win this will be. Scott, they're keeping it alive through Ray Brown. He can't handle it. Ball loose. New Zealand ball. Broadhurst will come up with it. Plays it back to Dean Bell. He runs from dummy half. And they're inside the 22 again, New Zealand. Can they put another one on? Broadhurst taking the set line. And working play centre field. Good tactics. Yes, they'll go for another drop goal here very shortly once they get themselves into position again. Sorensen. Both Sorensons have been strong. Dane and Kurt played well. Akoi. Here's right, the fullback. He's come up to take this kick. Went the other way, though. Kurt, Kurt Sorensen out wide and about three metres out from the Aussie line. Here's the kick, it's a bomb. Well placed kick too, but taken well. Wally Lewis, and just manages to get into field of play. He's caught one in the mouth too. Robin Whitfield showing that he was kicked. Oh, a bad decision there by referee. He actually got out into the field of play to play the ball, and he's called it as a drop out from the try line, as though he forced the ball in the in-goal area. There he is there, and he actually forces his way into the field of play. Yeah, Lewis, a good player. It's just prone. Ian Bell and Ron O'Regan are both on for New Zealand. We'll sort out who's off, but he's put them both on. Barley and Rapati are off for New Zealand. This is West. Uh, Varley and Tamati it is that it's off. Tamati is off with Varley. This is Nick Wright. Nick Wright explodes inside the 22 and fell it down about five metres short. This is O'Regan, the replacement, heavily bandaged. A loose pass back. New Zealand dive on it. Lowe looking at the clock. Don't forget the famous countdown here at Lang Park. The big clock counts down the last 10 seconds of play. Here's the countdown now. We're in the last two seconds, and this is an historic win for New Zealand. 19-12, and there's the count, and there's the final hooker. And what a win. Watch the New Zealanders. Enjoy the moment with them. New Zealand's 18th test win against Australia. Freddie Arcoy, what a moment. Big Broadhurst, Tamati, they're all on hugging, kissing. A great moment for New Zealand Rugby League. And an upset for Australia. There's Graham Lowe enjoying this moment. He'll never forget it. YG's been given some raps as a coach, Arthur, and what a job he's done with this side. He's done a magnificent job. His tactics all night were perfect, and the boys carried them out to the letter. And uh, full marks to both the Kiwis and Graham Lowe for a magnificent effort. Well, the crowd are pouring onto the field. Here's the New Zealanders lining up to uh, let the Australians come off. And what a historic win. They're going to do the Harker. Here's the war dance from New Zealand. Here it is. And that 
that's it, the winning note from New Zealand. We'll take a commercial break and we'll be right back with Arthur Summons and Mike Gibson. Starrick Bettig and Bondi. I would think they have every right to, Mike. They deserve their win. They played the game as it should be played. They played it hard. Their tactics were perfect. They were worked up very strongly before the game by Graham Lowe and they went on and did the job in five. Australia losing their first test match here at Lang Park in 20 years. Australia looked all right, what, for about three minutes? Because it was after three minutes that we scored our first try. Let's have a look at it. Still going, he's got the support too! And New Zealand will be in, no doubt about it! Oh, what a great try from Luolai! Yeah, great halfbacks try this one. To run from uh, the scrum base like that, Price couldn't get a hold of him, and it's a bit unusual for Price to miss those sort of tackles. Then an in-pass to uh, Luolai, who went on and made him. No mistake about putting that ball down. There's the dummy. Price can't quite get to him. He then makes ground. Bostead should have come into him and made the tackle on him then, but of course he turned him around and then Luolai did the rest. A great try to New Zealand. That really put Australia on the defensive end. Well, I think still we thought Australia might get back into the match. As you said, Eric Groth didn't have the happiest of nights. And I've never seen him look more unhappy than Big Joe Rapati came at him again in this second half. Good tackle, Ella. Broadhurst, Varley, Varley, out for Kurt Sorens and a ball off for Rapati, and Rapati's in! Oh, I don't believe it! What a great ball! And look at the New Zealanders! They have gone mad here! And Broadhurst stood still, Varley moved it quickly to Sorensen. Sorensen did well to make unload this ball, but Grace again seemed to be out of position. He didn't, he had his back turned to the uh, opposition, which is no good. And this kid's a very big, strong winger too, and was pleased to mark Grace. And uh, there it is, moving across the back line again. And this is the pass that sets him up for the try. But Grace was again looking infield some way, not marking his man. And Joe Rapati went over for a good try. Well, Australia at this stage were really down and out. They were on the ropes. The score was 19 points to six. And Steve Eller, who came on, added a bit of a spark, I guess, to the Australian side. And he did score what was probably a face-saving try in the closing stages. Shane Barley down. Ella, Ella, Ella. Got to be close. Can he get it down? It's a try right under the post for replacement Steve Ella. And Ella just simply run from dummy half to go in. Again, two tacklers, but prior to this, there was a magnificent uh, display of defence from the Kiwis to stop big inroads by the Australians. They moved the ball across the field twice there, Mike. Arthur, I don't think I've seen an Australian pack, uh, but well, worse than tonight. Now, I think the tactics of the Kiwis early on was the significant factor. They niggled a bit early, they upset the Australians, and then the Australians couldn't get back in the game. They were really put off their game. All right, a great victory for the Kiwis tonight. In a moment, we'll be back to find out who is the man of the... ...double header here at Lang Park. Don't go away, of course. In a moment, we'll be crossing out to Cogger Oval for the big one, Canterbury and St George. But first, let's find out who's tonight's man of the match. Thanks, Mike. Well, we're just outside the New Zealand dressing room. Obviously, a lot of celebrations going on there. The Australian camp, well, I guess very disappointed and a little bit shocked too. Ray Price, as man of the match from the Australian side tonight, what happened? Well, they were just too good. They came out, uh, they started the game off uh, a lot better than we expected. And looking at it again, you can't win the game if you drop as much ball as what we did. You did drop a lot of ball. The defence was something else, wasn't it? Well, their defence was very good. They worked very good around the ruck area and uh, it caused us, we, we started to play a little panic football and trying to catch up. Well, once you do that, you're just putting yourself out of the ball game. What about yourself? We said how many times you prepare for games with injuries, you just keep coming back. Were you really fully fit tonight? Uh, well, I took the field, but... You know, I wanted to play this one no matter what, and uh, as it was, I thought I had a low game, so... Ray, the side to me looked very flat and very disorganised. Australia, I mean. Yeah, well, you know, we didn't train too bad. Uh, as I said, it was very hard for us to do a preparation when we had a few blokes in bed. You know, a few didn't get out until uh, till this afternoon, so... But as I said, I'm not using that as an excuse, I was just far too good on the night. Mate, I know you're too big a competitor to do that. Let's just say it's probably a good thing for rugby league right around the world. England will obviously take heart now. New Zealand have won their first, the first test in 17 against Australia and we've been defeated here the first time in 20 years. It's a marvellous night for them. A good night for you too, though. $1,000 from Winfield Company and uh, I know that'll, that'll help to ease the pain a little bit anyway. Thanks very much, Darrell. 
I'd like to just say uh, good night to my two kids. I know they'll be sitting up watching, so Benjamin and Casey, good night. <laughs> there he is, one of the great champions of Australian Rugby League, Ray Price, and one of the great champions of television, Mike Gibson.